ever think, what if I created a cocktail that was so amazing it would not only impress my friends, but become an award winner? Well, it is possible because we have Marlo Johnson here with us. He is the beverage director of the popular Detroit restaurant Flowers of Vietnam, and he won the Death's Door Gin competition. Death's Door Gin competition with one of his cocktails. What is Death's Door Gin, other than something difficult to say? It's a bit of a tongue twister, but Death's Door Gin is a real favorite of mine. It's one of those great original American style gins that came about at the start of the craft cocktail revolution. And the best thing about it for me is it's so deceptively simple, right? It's okay. only three botanicals, juniper, fennel, and coriander. But within those three notes, you can kind of make a more elaborate symphony. All right, and what is the drink that you're going to make for us? Um, so I've got it prepped right here. This is called the Piano Wave Mix. Uh, this is the drink I won the competition with. Um, and in that same way that Death's Door is so simple, I wanted to combine simple notes to make something more complex. So it's a base of Death's Door Gin, uh, some yuzu pomelo honey, a little bit of shiso tincture, lime acid, and Vietnamese sea salt. How do you come up with something like that? Well, you just said the word tincture. When you're thinking up a cocktail, where does the tincture come in? For me, a cocktail is always built on kind of three fundamental flavors and then one kicker. And that's how I like to use a tincture is just amplify this one note you might not expect. So I'm going to go ahead and shake this up. The nice thing about this drink is it's simple enough to, to batch well in advance, which is what I did here. Uh, but really, a lot of it lies in the presentation of the drink itself. Okay. Well, you, it's just like they say, you eat with your eyes as well. Exactly. And like that's always very important in a competition drink is to see something that you use like a visual feast. I would, I would assume that's also important to choose the right glass in which to, to pour the... Right. And in this case, I chose something very special. So what we have here is a clay broth bowl. It's actually from my restaurant that I just thought would be really beautiful for this presentation. And so then right on top, we're going to garnish it here. Are you going to drink this out of a bowl? Out of a bowl. So a little fresh shiso on top, some edible flowers right here. I really wanted this drink to be something that, you know, people would see and they couldn't help but want to consume. So that's our first one right there. That's the Piano Wave Mix. Excellent. What's next? So next one is a little dealer's choice I did with other products from the Death's Door kind of family. Uh, the first being Limousine Rye, which is a really cool Wisconsin rye whiskey that's finished in limousine oak barrels. Kind of familiar with those from Cognac. Mm -hmm. It's a little more tannic than we're used to with our American bourbon barrels. And some Rum Chata Limon, which is just fun. I feel like people had this association with Rum Chata as like, Dumb shots, fun shots, you know, club right. bartending. But it's a really viable ingredient for craft cocktails, and it's a great way to make a fun drink. So this one here, I call the Fun Fetty Cake, because it's a whiskey sour that includes a little bit of egg whites, some okay. palm sugar demerara, a little bit of lemon juice, rye whiskey, and rum chata limon. Really, my goal with this drink was to create a fun, like sour, bright whiskey cocktail that also had that same kind of visual appeal that I went for with the Piano Wave Mix. Got it. So just a little bit of ice here. Whenever we make an egg white drink, we always make sure that we dry shake it. That kind of makes the meringue pop, gives you a little fluffy body to it. We aren't messing around. No, I'm not. <laughs> it would be pretty embarrassing if I was at this point. So we're going to go right here into this coupe glass. This is double strain. Yeah, we don't want those ice shards in here so much. And then just kind of lightly tap it out. We always want to be gentle with egg white drinks because we want the meringue to settle really nicely. There you have it. How do you garnish that? So this one, in keeping with our Funfetti theme, I've got three different types of bitters here. 20 one, seconds left. 20 seconds left, heard that. So I've got a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, and a little bit of green. Okay. We're just gonna drip it right on top, make a pretty pattern. There it is, right there.